He said the exact same thing happened to him. Ooh, good right hand right off the bat. He is, but he's got such quick feet. You see how he gets in and out. Very, he's got quick hands, doesn't he? But look at this. But back comes Ed Mosillo. A very durable guy. He's going to go to that liver with that left hand. Okay, he's a south. So, and there's that right hook by Edmond Seal. And it's going to something I'm going to talk about in the key. In Edmond Seal. I can already see the improvement with his uh, tutelage under Freddie Roach right now. Again, with something sharp like that. Could be lights out. Well, at least get, you know, he might from his left hand side. And then when he's close, he's got to hit the body hard, but he's got to. He's certainly been well represented. John Real Casimero victorious last week, and here this. And he's really looking to counter, and he's quick with his counters, Maxia. See, there's the body work I was talking Way upon Hermosillo. But that comes the 28 Mosillo. The Jaguars did a very good job to go in there, make sure they were both taken care of. For really 30,000. That's right. It was a tremendous comeback. Because look, it looked like he got. One. Max Sayo's coming off of a 13-month layoff. He defeated Panyo. The record. Max Sayo certainly not afraid to test his third. <laughs> but on to round three we go. Mark Max Sayo. And an do it by, I don't know if that's just a nervous thing he does. He drops his hands in exile and hits his belly right. Have enough left down the stretch. In the fight with Slavinsky, he felt that he started, you know, two. It's going to probably serve him well in this fight against a really, really tough guy in exile. And there he is to time that hook just like that right there. Good combination punching by Mark Maxayo. Out of ideas for you uh, because they haven't been to the, you know. Yeah, they're more like two decades if I stand corrected myself. So, yes, Freddie Roach certainly. Ooh. Big right hand for Maxayo. That ends the third. Well, he just, uh, his defense looks tighter. Just everything about him looks better. But look, he's capable of boxing and pressing. A couple of big right hands that clock. Well, Hermosillo is really doing some good things in there, but he better keep a real kid yourself. It's just that Maxile is the more flamboyant looking guy in there. And the With the right to the body was Maxile. That's right. Maxile slipped inside the jab. Very interesting. Uh, but but Edmosillo is doing what he should be doing when he gets in close. Can tries to pressure you to every inch of the ring, Jeff. Yeah, I mean. Fifth round, TKO. But back here in Los Angeles, the fifth round, Mark. Well, you know, you heard Max Isles said he didn't like fighting southpaws in the fighter. He puts on pressure, and, and you know, Max Isles, Max Isles doesn't think that he of what you're doing with your punches. And right now, Max Isles, when he is throwing, he's being during the fighter meetings. Yeah, well, you know, he also thought that, you know... The coming out party for the undefeated featherweight contender from the Philippines. But they do when you're getting hit by them. Stop. It's that time. Joe, can you talk to us about the importance of sometimes you have to show tough love of urgency that's coming out of Well, yeah, like I said, it was an exclamation point. You know, I mean it. You need to do wherever you are, inside or outside, to score. And then also, Freddie was telling them they've been working together steadily for three months consecutively. Maxayo came here. He, he is starting to look a little bit fatigued right now, Maxayo, which means that his punches. We'll see if Maxayo can find a way to gain more sustained. Oh, he might be feeling the remnants of that liver shot, Joe. Oh, I'm telling you, this is, uh, th those kind of show it to the corner. I don't know if that was just a... Another frequency well, that, is the question. Whether it's, uh, I think the question is, will he throw it with as much power? Educating me every single time <laughs> we get together here on FS1. Very entertaining featherweight matchup. It's a dangerous fight for both guys. Because 106 landed for Edmosillo compared to just 72 for Maxayo. In under a minute to go here in the seventh. Well, it's like I said in my... It's what he was imploring him to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There's a perfect against Rigo Berto, Edmo Seal. Edmo Seal on the opposite side looking at Winning this fight? I don't think there's a doubt. I think he's winning the fight. Um, Edmo Seal, well, I, you know, at this stage of the game, I would want, if I were the court, hook on the chin by Masayo, and he ate it well and just kept. Sayo started to really target the body, and though he has land, not landed more than four body shots in any round until the eight, couple of right hands that spray Edmosillo by Maxayo. But Maxayo is Maxayo with some really sharp, sharp punches. 
Freddie might stop, have lit a stop. fire. Oh, sure. He's not getting hit, but he's landing all the damaging punches this way. Okay. You know, Emma Seal, but let me tell you, that was a beautiful left hand that he threw in there. Chris Fine under many Pacquiao promotions, his new promoter. I give him a lot of credit, just like that. Underneath punches, pulled out nice. Made Emma Seal fall. She uh, agreeable about the whole situation. <laughs> um, I don't know if he needs to think Freddie saw that he had him real hurt last round. Emma Seal did. Uh, he had him hurt. Um, Another gear. I think Freddie's trying to get Maxayo to really step his foot on the you know, Don't be an underachiever in this fight. You know, use all of your skills, use all of the training, and let it. This has been a terrific fight, Joe, between two. Defensively as well as offensively. Quick hands, powerful. Oh, yeah. Vicious body punching between these two. Magnifico Matsayo!